Hey, what up guys? So, I'm going to show you my last trip to the store. This is my version of trying to make 80-10-10 fruitarian superfood, raw food, all that shit together in one. This is my uh, version of how I'm doing it right now. So, I'm approximately, I mean I've been into raw food for uh, at least three and a half years and I, you know, use a juicer uh, on the regular. Actually, up until six months ago, I hadn't taken more than a week to two weeks uh, off from the juicer ever uh, in three years. So I might have one break for two weeks. And then again, uh, last summer, I had a little short relapse and, and that taught me some lessons about, you know, missing calories, missing vegetables and, and juice in my diet. And so I went back on to a, you know, my version of a raw food diet. And this is what we have. So I went to Costco. Uh, one of the things I learned from during Ryder and some of the Fruitarian crews is that you can't leave yourself shortchanged. If you end up getting hungry, trying to survive on raw food, you're going to stress yourself out, probably going to cheat, and all the way around, it's a bad thing for your psyche. It's a bad thing for your uh, internal confidence, I guess, to feel like you're restricted and feel like you're you got your hands tied behind your back. So. Here's a, a, an example of how I'm making it work in Colorado. You know, it's March and it's still cold out. It snowed yesterday. So this is how you can get predominantly raw fruits and vegetables into your diet uh, without breaking the bank too badly. I spent about $120 at Costco, but to my surprise, they actually had some organic options. So here's what I ended up with. I've got some Valencia oranges. Uh, these are, what are they, mini Elotangelos, I believe. Um, Costco had a great deal on raspberries, so I'm going to keep half of them out fresh and raw. I'm going to freeze these uh, other package and half of the strawberries to use in smoothies in lieu of ice cubes. Um, I would vote on the side of keeping everything raw, but the reality is you have to kind of make this diet work for you. And, and you know, after cleaning out my refrigerator, it's a really hard thing to spend your hard earned money on produce, especially expensive organic produce, and have any of it go to waste, which I just threw out, you know, $15 worth of stuff, and that's hard to swallow. So I'm moving towards a reliable, sustainable way to do raw food and taking the best from all of them. I don't adhere to any one person's plan or book or diet regimen. I just do what um, is working for me at this particular time. So I got raspberries, strawberries, a uh, bag of kiwis. Kiwis are really good to go in green smoothies if you're trying to keep your glycemic or sugar index low. Uh, there's so many different versions of raw food diets. There's high sugar, high carb, raw vegan, there's high fat, there's combinations. You know, you, you really are going to have to experiment to see what your body needs right now and what, and it will guide you to where you need to go in the future. But I particularly like kiwis for green smoothies. Uh, we got some mangoes to munch on just here and there. Uh, some janju pears, papaya enzymes. <clears throat> I add papaya enzymes to almost almost every green smoothie I make. There's just something about it. It gets in there and breaks down the cellulase. Uh, part of the the what's the word I'm looking for? Part of the the cell wall that's hard to digest in leafy greens. It needs a particular enzyme to break it down. Uh, I think it's cellulase. Which, yes, papayas do have that. So raw or supplement, it's a good thing to add. Toss in your smoothies. we got Fiji apples. Uh, Fuji apples, I'm sorry. And pink ladies. Um, those are also good to add into a green smoothie. Um, we've got carrots. One of my favorite juices. And albeit it is really high in sugar, but if you do it first thing in the morning, man, what an eye-opener. It's carrots, oranges, ginger root, a full lemon with the rind on and that's pretty much it uh, it's the best it's the best juice in the world I love it um, if you want to get crazy you can add some pineapple to it um, or even some parsley if you want to throw some greens in there so that carrot carrot drink is delicious um, bag of avocados I personally need the fat coming in at this particular time in my raw food diet 
you know, it's really hard to withstand winter, especially in Colorado, when you're eating just fruit. Um, if you get to the place where you're feeling cold or like you need a little insulation on your bones, I, I definitely gravitate to avocados and seeds and, and nuts, but I'm learning that they're a little bit better for you if you pay attention to the food combining rules and probably bring them in at the end of the night or after a workout so that it's more of a recovery uh, protein drink versus clogging your, your day up with heavy digestion um, while you're trying to get work done. Uh, I've got a mad amount of bananas. Yeah, they're all green right now, but I'm gonna set them out, um, set them out around the house. Once they ripen up, those will be a main staple for snacking and smoothies, along with medjool dates. I unfortunately opted for non-organic this time around. It was just such a great deal. But I'm gonna pay attention to how I feel and what they taste like because there is organic dates available at natural grocers um, near the Whole Foods on Pearl Street in Boulder. And they're about twice as expensive. These are $8.79 for two pounds at Costco. They're about nine bucks a pound at natural grocers. So, you know, you do the math. But again, it seems to be one of the fruitarian staples and I personally like it as sweeteners in the greens. Uh, I, I really don't go too too sweet on the really sweet fruits. For me, it's more about greens, but um, I do like dates uh, here and there. Suja Essentials. <laughs> the only reason I have this, my sister lives and works in San Diego and she interviewed this company. And they have a, a really immaculate facility. Um, from what she experienced there and being able to speak with the executives, it, you know, they, they have good morals, they have good ethics, they're producing juice products in the only way it's really possible to get it into a plastic jug. It's not raw, it's cold pressed. They, but they do bust open the cell walls with their technology. However, it does not destroy the enzymes. So, you know, they're, they're, they're pitching that it's still alive, but you gotta, you gotta realize when you put something under, you know, pressure like you're sticking it underneath the ocean hard enough to break the cell walls there might be some living properties in the juice but you're you're still sacrificing the vitality uh, of making your own juice so I don't want to say that I recommend this all the time but how can you argue with these ingredients apple juice celery juice cucumber kale collard greens lemon juice organic tea I mean chlorella chlorella powder I mean it's all good and what I do with this stuff is for a quick pick me up, I'll slam a little bit or throw it into smoothies. Makes for a nice base. <laughs> Let's go in here. Costco also affords some cheap big bags of power greens that are organic. It's like five bucks. And that'll that's like a week's worth of green smoothies. Um, between the spinach and these power greens, which are baby kale, spinach, and chard. Uh, I got some cabbage, which I use for raw tacos. Use that as the shell. Some celery, some kale, tomatoes, there's a honeydew down there. Uh, this is like all my ancillary stuff that I use for salads, so, you know, chia seeds, hemp seeds, some acai powder for a smoothie here and there. And my favorite, dandelions collected from my front yard. That's right, I'm not afraid to eat the weeds. Um, but if you are freaked out by that, oh no, dogs are gonna piss all over it on the sidewalk or I can't eat my I can't eat stuff out of the front yard just throw it in some water with some hydrogen peroxide it kills everything if you're really worried about it and uh, super super good for your health to eat wild foods lemons more apples limes and then for my raw tacos uh, I do use nuts uh, I got some quinoa soaking that's kind of like a salad additive uh, if I need it and the walnuts that's gonna be the base for my raw tacos. So crumble them up, put some, some spices in there, some onion, some garlic. Raw onion, raw garlic, believe it or not, just like a tablespoon or two. And uh, put it in the cabbage leaf, make some pico, make some lettuce, and it's all good. Uh, what else? It's a good idea to have some probiotics. Uh, this, is just, this is just a sugar drink, but uh, what you're really looking for is like a $13, $15 bottle of cold refrigerated hardcore probiotics maybe somewhere like Whole Foods 
keep you straight. Uh, a couple other supplements that I use. Zeoforce Detoxifying. This is just earth clay. It's got, you know, a lot of people really like Health Force. I have enjoyed adding this to my smoothies. It adds kind of a, a neutral flavor. Uh, raw reserve, any kind of green powder, good idea. Rotate it, get it from different sources. Um, this, I've been throwing in some smoothies because I'm currently doing a parasite cleanse. And if you notice on the back of the ingredients, it's got a bunch of good stuff for parasites. Burdock, ginger, turmeric, sheep sorrel, peppermint. Uh, slippery Elm is all awesome for getting the little critters out of you. So, anyways, that's a look at my uh, current situation. Hope that you guys enjoyed, and we'll talk to you later. Peace.